Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Clyde and welcome back to Dear Talk. For today's video, we are going to talk about Bachelor of Science in Biology as a pre-medical course. But before we start with the introduction of our guest, I would just like to take a little moment to thank everyone for your overwhelming support. Guys, we finally reached 940 subscribers, so thank you, thank you so much! It's already a very big achievement for me and I do hope that you will still continue to support me for the rest of the videos that I will be making in the future. Okay, without further ado, let's introduce our guest. Mr. Ryan G. Arabejo is a second-year medical student from Xavier University, Jose P. Rizal School of Medicine, Ateneo de Cagayan. He took his pre-med still at Xavier University, and if you want to know more about this course, just keep on watching. Welcome to our med series. Let's start with the first guide question. What are your top three pre-med choices? My top three med courses, I'll start with nursing, tapos BS Biology, and uh, Medical Technology or Med Tech. Okay, so can you please tell us the reason why you chose uh, your pre-med? Basically, um, I was introduced by my uncle sa BS Biology, and of course, uh, most of my friends were in nursing, but I chose Biology because um, I was influenced sa uh, Nat Geo and Channel because I always wanted to be a uh, Nat Geo and Explorer, that's why I ventured in Biology. And also, I can have two pathways magod if if mag choose ko biology, pwede ko mag health related niya path, or I will go to the field niya path. I think it's more of I decided to come at the time of college. Okay. Can you please give us a brief background of the course? Like, for example, how many years does it take to complete? And then, uh, what was your impression about this course? Um, basically, uh, the BS Biology program in FTU provides the students with the um, introductory courses such as microbiology, physiology, histology, and molecular biology. And also, the field yung mga track. So, you have your environmental science and also your research because either it is a basic or applied research. So that's the basic background with the BS Biology. Either you are in the laboratory in a setting or a classroom setting, or you will be deployed in the field if you still come out field in biology. And also, I think for BS Biology in a program, you will have a four-year duration sa mo pag -skwela. So first year, you will be introduced to basic biological nga mga programs or courses. And pag second year, uh, you will have your um, pre-application. And your third year, you will have your thesis. And for the fourth year, you have your fieldwork and also your thesis for graduation. Can you please share to us your impression about this course before you entered? Ah, yeah. Before I entered biology, I think more of somehow exciting and at the same time it's um, really scary because dula ko sa city And also, I'm not a, from a private school, so I entered a private school. So, more of a new environment for me to adapt kung kung saan galing ang situation sa FTU. So, um, for the course itself, um, a bit challenging because uh, most of the subjects are new to me. Siyempre, um, bago lang ko venture biology. But, at the same time, I'm enjoying the fact that I will be entering the field that I am most likely going to see in the future. Okay, so next question, uh, what do you usually do? Like for example, in the field of work mismo, uh, ano po ba yung kadalasan na ginagawa ninyo? Ah, uh, yeah. First of all, the pre preliminaries in first year, you have your um, hackening sa laboratory na setting. So you will practice those um, basic um, mga apparatus and how to culture organisms and all And then, if of fourth year, so you will be deployed in the field, mag field sampling na mo. So for the field sampling, you will be having a um, parameter such as your um, your nitrogen content of the, for example, body of water and you can examine, like nitrogen content, carbon content, and all of those microflora uh, present on that kind of river if as a more specific na sign. So that's the measurement lang sa, kwa, sa river itself. And also, you will have your application if magduna mo sa inyong statistics na nandayo. So mga mga math na may involve and uh, principles and stuff. So basically, it is from laboratory, the field itself, and the application of the paper and that. Okay. Uh, doc, uh, question lang po. Kasi I see a lot of biology students during my college days. And then, yung sinabi mo kanina na deployment nila, um, is it connected with the thesis that you make? Depende ba yan kung saan kayo um, ida deploy na lugar? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. 
So, so ang thesis na mo kay Marsha based application siya bali. So it is embedded sa mo thesis kung either we prefer this kind of region if after mo sampling. So more like influence bali siya sa mo paper and if ma approve ang paper if relevant pa siya for the time period. For example, in our study if like puso man kay sa mo here in CDO nga ulan ulan in ana. So we venture more on a bioremediation. So me and my partner sa thesis so more na invest me for bioremediation. We went to Bukid noon for the field sampling. So Murag correlated siya po sa mong thesis niyo, sa mong field sampling. Okay. So, um, can you please tell us now the disadvantages or advantages of your course in medical school? So, let's start first with the disadvantages. Were there anything or were, were there any difficulty that um, you experienced during medical school? Oh, so, medyo dagan-dagan dyan, no? Sa, when it comes to biology in a program, dagan dyan siya when it comes to health-related aspects. So, for the best biology program, kay, more likely kay difficult kay me magka-touch up with regards to the clinical ang aspect because most of our friends kay mga nurses, mga licensed like, mga nurses, mga med techs, also mga PT. So they have this um, background with regards to examination of the patient, the approach to the patient, ng mga mga protocols, uh, mo, uh, most likely sa mga pharmacological ng aspect so more advantage nila. So may na sa sa clinical ng aspect na uh, medyo kinalaman ni mo apas. So I think it's an disadvantage because sa bio, we didn't discuss those kind of aspects mga good. So more likely sa nang pang environment yun may or more an application. Dili siya uh, health really that dili siya patient um, centered nga mga approaches. More likely for ano, for the environment siya mga approach. That's the major disadvantage mm-hmm. if the best way So uh, how about the advantages? Uh, can you please mention any advantages that you had or like the, that the course contributed during med school. So, siguro ang biggest nga contribution sa BS Biology nga program kay more disciplined may mga BS Biology nga students uh, when it regards to time management. So, since naanad may nga like nagan kay libro basahon, naanad may nga pagkakasya nga libro basahon, naanad may nga magbasa, tapos mag-field work, mag-apoy, tapos mabasa na pagbalik. So, there's a specific time frame nga mong ginatunod. So, major siya nga advantage when it comes to entering med school. Siyempre, kung yung nalang get time management as a med school. And also, the reading itself, uh, we have this attitude when it comes to our readings nga uh, we really just need nga understand um, the context that uh, specific topic. Kinala na sabihin naman siya ginagyaan if di may kasabot kay Tina. Kinala na sabi doon kay sometimes if di li may kasabot sa principal. So, mara ginaan advantage of biology approach. Okay. So um the question lang uh were you also familiar with the medical terms already when you entered med school? Uh especially in first year. Siguro may mga familiar nga mga stuff nga uban kay uh, I always watch mga good sa mga sa mga movies and mm-hmm. also sa YouTube sa mga informative nga mga content so mura kaka appreciate na ako and also um some of the terms are not that um for it so uh, i would just like to go back to the things that you usually do i'm a little bit curious about this field work kasi doc is that like your internship yeah more of an internship if you would like to venture in the environmental aspect and also more of like a compliance man good sa ano sa thesis kinalan siya it is a requirement sa thesis na kung gaano siya katagal usually or yung average lang na month or so for a field work i start by to year me for the ano um introduction making the title of our thesis um what are the pertinent data that we would like to obtain sa sa mong goal kita mo thesis sa mong objective na mo so it would like to be a duration about more of three to four months for preparation and uh, approval sa mong panel and going na rin as a fourth year dahil if ma-approve na so you can have your field work na po dahil yun so more of two years yung duration uh, appeal na ang prepare uh, pag prepare sa ano, paper so now let's proceed to the next question can you please tell us any subject in med school that you find easy or hard? May it be basic or clinical subject? Um, siguro sa easy nga part kay I, I enrolled mga good sa, ano, sa uh, pre-elective yung subject which is histology. So, um, it was advised by my uh, teacher or professor sa college nga mag-click ano yung subject because it will help me a lot sa med school. And it greatly helped me a lot sa, ano, sa med school because um, sa med school, um, more specific na siya then more uh, more memorization lang yung histology nga part. So, sa ako, din na siya foreign not unlike sa uban nga murag bago pa bitaw na kay histology so more foreign gid kay sa ila kay since histology request um a maximum time frame gid para mag uh, mag memorize and also kinano 
meron dyan siya of keen observation with regards to the lab- laboratory and setting, di ba? Also, ang um, kalisuran na ako nga subject is pharma siguro, I know, both pharma and IM internal medicine. So, mag-uban man dyan na sila kay more like mag-approach a patient, or like kung sa'yo mong tambal ng ayatag. So, foreign kay sa amo ang protocols used sa BS Biology. So, that's why more of kalisuran nga nakaroon nga sa aspect sa second year. Kaya sa second year na ginagod sa amo ang IM o pharma. So, more of ga-apas me, more of ga-keep-up me sa amo mga friends nga mga nursing, Let's talk about the timeline for medical students if they will wish to proceed to med school. Can you please elaborate to us, starting from the pre-med, uh, how many years does it take to become a doctor? So, we start sa BS Biology, uh, BS Biology na program, no? Um, it will take about four years for the program sa biology ng department. Sa XU, na niya nga biology because um, other schools came for five years sa ila because they have specific nga track, uh, the animal biology, pero... For XU, you have your ano, four years of BS Biology nga program. Uh, along with that, so you will have your NMAT code. So, four years na included na mo NMAT. Uh, so, after that, so, mag, uh, it's a fifth year ni mo either mag-proceed ka to enrollment sa medicine or you will take a gap year. So, ako, wala ko nag, uh, wala ko nag-take a gap year. So, about another four years for proper med school. So, you have your eight years na. And also, you have your PGI pa dayon, Another one year. And also, preparatory for sa ibang board exam. Uh, more like one year na po na po nga duration sa pag-review ni mo. Either you will take it um, derecho or mag-take pa time para mag-review. So, more or less, like nine to ten years ang duration to become a doctor. Okay, so, uh, doc question lang. You also have board exams, right? Or... Wala. Moro, ano lang. And mat lang nga mong ginabati yan na oh, okay. Okay. sa Manggalit magputi sa med school. Okay. Because recent lamang good um, ay moro licensure at uh, moro board exam sa microbiology nga uh, as microbiologist. Ah, okay. So, moro wala kami nag-go to that pathway na. So, uh, during that time, doc, uh, after graduating college, ano po ba yung uh, tawag sa inyo when you got the degree already? Um, ginatawag ang tawag kay field biologist lang. Field biologist. Ay, isa lang. Field biologist. Okay, field biologist. <laughs> So, field biologist, mostly ang ginatawag sa mo, ha? Or, if we venture sa, an, sa field, yun, like, more of, na sa DNR, yun, ano, mga researchers, may, ano, so, pwede po may may mong laboratory ana, analyst if nami sa factory, I think. Now, let's proceed to the next question. What are the career opportunities that the students may take or that ABS biology graduate may take if ever he or she will not proceed to medicine? So, uh, I think that Ginya, so I have friends that uh, they ventured out of the, the shell wala sila nag-add to sa medicine. So, they have the opportunity to venture in um, the research in your subject. Either you will be having an applied or basic research, you will work with a DNR, and also, pwede po ka nga, may makalaboratory analyst sa uh, ano, sa specific company or more of mag-assist ka sa lab in ana. Or you will be a teacher. So, pwede ka mag-teach as a biology nga professor. Mag-take para master's una. And also, um, you can have the you know, animal leader. So, pwede ka mag-explore like, kita bitanin mo sa nasi yung mga channel, pwede ka mag-photographer, pwede ka mag-veterinarian um, food, pwede ka mag- mag-atiman mismo sa environment. Now, uh, let me ask you lang po. This is a little bit personal na question or it, it's more like of your opinion po. Um, why is it the best pre-med? Or do you think it is the best pre-med? Um, for me, um, more of tanan jud ng mga uh, pre-med courses ka either more of well, outside pa siya sa coverage, di siya science related. So all of those courses good, pwede siya nga may mong best nga pre-med because um, it's not about the, the course magod itself when you, uh, if you you will take uh, medicine. It's about the, the character that you will build up and also your um, your passion and your motivation for it. You know, you can just tell them to look. I don't know if you're implying that this is the best pre-med course. Because it depends, man, good. Okay, I don't know if you're a classmate, it's health-related or science-related, your pre-med, your po. But they excel more than us. It depends on the people. So, uh, what's your message to the aspiring doctors and for those aspiring na BS Biology students? So first, no, sa aspiring BS Biology uh, student, I think all you need to do is like enjoy the course itself. Don't stress yourself, okay? Since it is uh, a pre-med new course, I would like to uh, emphasize that um, you enjoy lang din ninyo ang inyong college nga years because this uh, this um, specific time frame is a time for growth, good. So pwede rin mo mamali dira. All of those opportunities, grab it na lang din tayo. So I think more ang ang 
pinakap is nga mo advice na ko for those who would like to venture in the BS Biology program. So, enjoy the program itself. Um, Balag ko isa pa na masayot ka. So, go lang yun sa dayo lang yung Japan. And you will go there if mahal ginahasak nga para sa mo ha. So, for those um, aspiring doctors, yun, okay, I would like to emphasize yun nga, it's okay to fail on a specific aspect in your life like yung pagsakas eh, sa quiz. It's okay. Uh, you are valid. Validated sa tanang there is a medicine. Those um, experiences will lead you eventually to establish na ka as a strong person. You have your growth na. So, all of these um, failures in life will lead you to become a compassionate doctor in the future. That would help the community if asa ka gusto mo tapa. Ako lang dyan ang epatite nga. Valid ang imong kaka-feel sa med. Valid po din mong mga failures and valid po din mong mga success. So, I think more of it siya. Okay. Thank you, Doc. I think that's the last question. So, um, Doc, do you have anything to promote? I would like to have a sense na yun nga, vote wisely this 2022. 2022 ba? 2021 nga election. Since, um, most, the majority of us, sa mga youth, di, uh, wala kayo sila involved into politics. But just remember, guys, ang, uh, mag-start yun, ang decision-making sa taas, dilitat, ato, at ubo. So, all we need to do is vote the right person for that specific position and all will but go down at the kung unsa man ang mga mayo nga buhat nila in the future. So I think that's it lang siguro ako message para sa parents. Okay, so thank you, Doc. Um, I think that's all, Doc. Thank you so much for joining me tonight.